everyone, this is Zach, just the guy from Indiana, coming at you for episode 130, All Things Boxing. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, feel free to share this video, and remember, we've got you covered on everything revolved around the top 10 pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world and your mega fights. We are on part two, Boxing Fans Divided, featuring... Dmitry Bevel and Artur Beterbiev. Now the two of them have a fight coming up on October 13th to determine who is the light heavyweight undisputed champion of the world. And at this moment, ESPN has Dmitry Bevel ranked as your number four pound for pound boxer. They have Artur Beterbiev ranked number six. So when we say fans divided, that is exactly what it is. About 50% think that Dmitry Bevel is going to win by decision. The other 50 think that Better Biev will win by stoppage. So for today, we are going to jump right in to the early careers of both fighters. We start with Dmitry Bevel. His professional career starts in 2014, in which Bevel lives in St. Petersburg, Russia, which is the second largest city after Moscow, but he trains in Southern California. He wins his first six fights by knockout. Three of them are KOs, the other three are TKO. And they are against opponents with both winning records and over 15 wins before taking on Bevel. And at this time, he was fighting at two different places. He was fighting in Russia and also what's called the Hangar, which was known for being a concert hall in Costa Mesa, California. So after his first six fights, he is 6-0 by the beginning of 2016. So we move right in to Artur Beterbiev. Beterbiev professional career starts in 2013 when he moves to Montreal, Canada, the largest city in the province of Quebec. And at the Bell Center, which is a multi-purpose arena in Montreal, Better Biev delivers a second round TKO. So he goes on to win his first fight, five fights, by knockout. One of which is a KO, the other four are TKO. However, the difference here, of his five opponents, four of them had a losing record and one broke even before taking on the fight against Better Biev. At this time in his career, all of his fights have been in Canada. So he goes 5-0 as we head to the middle of 2014. So for today, thank you so much for tuning in to the early career of both fighters. We'll be back tomorrow with part three episode 131. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.